So, Alex, I'm going to pick on you for a second, but I think I'm going, to give you, I'm, I'm going to give you some good insight, um, I think. So one of the things you want to do is you want to talk from a more emotional perspective um, or, or get them appeal, appeal more to an emotional uh, to emotion as opposed to logic, right? So when you say, are you aware, it's almost like they could feel like you're being condescending to them as if they don't know about their business. Um, the, the way that we approach it, and it's, it's something you guys have heard me talk about, we really want to try and get people to know as quick as we can. We want you to get to know first, because if we can get you to know subconsciously, you feel like you're in control of the conversation at that point, and then we can guide you where we, we, we want you to go. So when I call somebody who has a high mod right now to talk to them about their mod, my conversation is, is similar to yours, but just a hair different. And I'd say, this is David with Florida Risk Partners. I just wanted to touch base with you because we work with a lot of companies in your industry and your, your name came across my radar in my research. Are you happy that you're paying at least 33% more than your competition for your workers' comp? They can't answer that yes. They have to tell you no. And so once they do, subconsciously they feel, and, and trust me, it sounds weird. This stuff works, man. I've been doing this ever since I read Never Split the Difference, and it works like a champ. And so once I get them to that point, the very next question is, well, would you agree that it makes sense for us to explore ways to reduce what you're paying since you're paying a, a, a significant amount more than your competitors? Are they going to say, no, it doesn't make sense to explore ways to save money? Only two minutes. So those two, if you move from there to there, I would try those two things. If they come back and say, yeah, no, our guy's got it under control. I would say, well, I understand. You probably have some level of loyalty to your existing agent. And I certainly respect that. Quite frankly, that's why I'm reaching out to you is because we're looking for loyal clients just like you to add to our book of business. And you sound just like the last 10 people that we've brought into our firm over the course of the last couple of months. They all had five or six year relationships and were perfectly comfortable. But once they realized that that extra money they're paying for their workers comp resulted in a raise to the person who was placing that for them for substandard results, they decided to give us a look to be able to help them lower their total cost of risk. So if you can, if you can use that, that one, two punch right out of the box has been very, very effective.